You know, we all have these expectations for the way that we want our life to turn out. You know, we, we kind of have it all planned out in our mind. Even from the time you're a little kid, you have these dreams, like maybe the dream to be an astronaut, or the dream to be an actress, or maybe even a rock star. Eventually, you would exchange that childhood dream for the American dream. Do you remember going after that? You were going to get into the school of your dreams. You were going to marry the guy or the girl of your dreams. You knew what job you were going to have and how many kids you would have and what your house was going to look like, how much money you would make. But then there was that moment. That moment when all of a sudden, one of your dreams shattered. It was that moment that you kind of discovered that maybe life wasn't going to turn out the way you thought life was going to turn out. And nobody ever dreamed that they'd have cancer at age 36. Nobody ever dreamed that they'd be fired at 54. Nobody ever dreamed that they'd be divorced twice by 45 or they'd be alone and depressed at 26. No one ever dreamed that they, they wouldn't be able to have kids or that they'd end up bankrupt. And yet every one of us have at least one aspect of our lives that has not turned out the way we thought it was going to turn out. You know, if you believe in God, it might even complicate things a little bit more when you're in the midst of one of these crises. I mean, how do you reconcile these two seemingly unmixable components? On one side, you have this God who is all loving and all powerful. But then on the other side, you have this life that's full of disappointment and crisis and hurt. And I'm just so sick of this version of Christianity where we feel like our entire theology can fit on a t-shirt, a bumper sticker, or, or maybe even a bracelet. The reality is sometimes you have more questions than you do answers. The reality is sometimes you lack the faith that will give you a sustained hope. And if you search your heart, what you'll discover is that even though you know that God is with you, sometimes you feel utterly and completely alone. But even though you believe, you also doubt. So what do you do with the unmet expectation? What do you do with a shattered dream? What do you do when life just isn't turning out the way you thought life was going to turn out? What do you do when you have to turn 